More Who Spy photos have been released, including one which gives a much better look at Toymaker Easter Egg first glimpsed on set. So Who Spy is the recently revived Doctor Who social media phenomenon, whereby the social pages, Instagram, Twitter, etc., post these little glimpses of bits of set dressing, graphic design, etc. These little glimpses, little teasers to tide us over until broadcast. We've had about 25 of these things so far, including the ones I'm going to talk about today. I have covered all of them in previous videos in their own playlist on the channel, so that will be linked in the description if you haven't watched those yet. Go and catch up, there's some very intriguing stuff we've glimpsed so far. Today we have three new pictures to look at, beginning with this one here of a panel, a metal panel that reads Access B, and then below it it says Access by Level 5 Operative Only. And the caption that goes with it says, no access, how do I become a level 5 operative? So this would appear to be something from one of the unit sets, because that little logo there in the top corner, the sort of round symbol, kind of earth-shaped symbol there, that I believe is the latest version of the unit logo. So yes, this is something to do with units, you know, level 5 operative, it all kind of sounds suitably unity, something to do with a hidden location or, or hidden documents or something, I suppose, something confidential. Yeah, um, as with any of these, you know, will this whole thing about access be level five operatives? Will that play into the plot in any way at all? Or is it just literally like someone taking a photo of a random detail on the set, which is literally just a random bit of set dressing? You know, who knows? But it is nice to have, you know, all these little glimpses of this unit set. We've had it teased quite a bit. We've had various, you know, unit desks and unit computer screens and, and files and all these bits and pieces teased of this set, which we've also seen in the trailers, of course, you know, with Kate there, with the Doctor there, with the Toy Maker there, and a sort of red soldier get up kind of running around and with Mal in the background. So, you know, this set promised to be something really, really spectacular, probably the, the best sort of base that units ever had. So it'll be really exciting to finally see that in all its glory in the specials. I know it's confirmed to be in the Giggle, but I don't know whether it's going to appear before that or not. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The next picture also teases a set which we've seen before, a familiar set from other Who Spy photos. I believe one of the very first Who Spy photos showed a different angle of this very same space, this slightly odd fashioned looking living space with a decided worse for wear walls and like wooden cabinets and stuff against the walls and on the walls and plates and chairs and stuff. But lots of interesting looking equipment as well. Very, very intriguing stuff. You know, a row of bulbs there kind of hanging down from the ceiling. You know, two sets, in fact, of these kind of panels of bulbs and this mysterious sort of uh, circular dish thing in, in the foreground there and then in front of that you know closest to us what would appear to be like a kind of prototype television I'm guessing so if you don't know this is basically all but confirms to be the living quarters of John Logie Baird a real life character a real life pioneer and inventor who carried out these experiments in the 1920s with television and television broadcasting with his little mannequin dummy thing Stooky Bill and he was a really important figure in the the emergence of television so that will add a kind of historical elements a celebrity historical elements to the 60th specials which is really nice to see and it has been confirmed now by the BBC that John Logie Baird will be appearing in these specials in the giggle I think possibly other ones as well but definitely in the giggle he can be played by the actor John McKay who also coincidentally or not played him for a brief cameo in Russell Davis's series Nolly earlier this year so you know clearly this historical figure was someone that Russell had recently Researched and someone that was on his mind and that was the perfect actor lined up to play him for a meteor role in Doctor Who. Hey presto! So yes, another set that will be really interesting to finally see on screen. I mean, the attention to detail with this is just phenomenal with all these kind of files and trinkets and ornaments and bits and pieces on the cabinet there in the background and obviously all this equipment as well, which, you know, no doubt is as close and as accurate as, as the team could get to the original equipment used back in the 20s for these original experiments. You know, it's, it's the part of the specials which was kept under wraps for a very long time and which I'm really looking forward to see kind of re fruition and by all accounts the toy maker will also be involved in all this manipulating events and using John Logie Bear and Snooky Bill for his own ends so that's gonna be really really great to see as well. Speaking of which, we have the third and final Who Spy photo for today, which depicts a metal clown sign hung up outside of some building. 
anyone that is familiar with the filming for the 60th, which took place in Bristol, will immediately recognise this, uh, not least because a photo of it did actually leak at the time, quite funnily, and there is a significance to this particular clown. It was one of the first clues we got to the fact that the toy maker was returning, because it is in fact based on the character of Joey the Clown, who appeared in the original toy maker serial, the Celestial Toy Maker, in 1965. And again, you know, remarkable attention to detail. What a fantastic little Easter egg to have there for the fans to link back to that very first toy maker serial and to have this actor as well. I mean, if you told this actor back in 1965 when he was playing the character of Joey the Clown, that his likeness would be appearing on a sign outside of a shop in another episode of Doctor Who like 60 years later, he would just never ever have believed you. I mean, fantastic. Really, really lovely little tribute there to that character and to that original story. And again, if you're not quite familiar with this and the filming that took place, this sign it was hung up outside of Mr. Emporium, the uh, the infamous toy shop, which obviously now we know sort of belongs to the toy maker. Again, that was seen, you know, in the filming that took place in like June of last year. And uh, yeah, basically at the time, you know, there were various clues like this and like signs referring to toy makers and circuses and stuff. And obviously the very presence of a toy shop, all these clues that kind of hinted to the fact that the toy maker might be returning. Now, obviously. That news was only confirmed to us, you know, just about a month or two ago, very, very recently. But I remember seeing this at the time, you know, people pointing it out, getting sneaky photos of it, and, you know, drawing comparisons to Joey the Clown and kind of going, you know, oh my god, could it be? Is this actually what it is? And everybody's minds were blown by that. It was just incredible. I actually visited this spot very, very recently. I was in Bristol, I just happened to be there, and I thought I might as well check out all the spots they used for the 60th specials, you know, prior to seeing them on TV, you know, to see them for myself. And this is a particularly interesting one, because in real life, this place, that this toy shop, is actually just like a, a crepe cafe, uh, which is really funny. Like, the, the red sort of shop front still is there, but all the set dressing was added, obviously, and, like, the door and everything, and the bell, and th this sign, and, yeah, obviously, you know, the actual interior of that shop was a set in the studio. It was just the exterior that was used for, for shots of, like, people entering and exiting and stuff like that. It was a really interesting one to visit, actually, because that street was the same one they used for all the period stuff, like of the Doctor and Donna kind of walking along a street and all the extras they had and sort of old-fashioned cars and things and the alleyway that the TARDIS lands in, that we've seen the TARDIS in and the Doctor in, that, that infamous alleyway where the Doctor and Donna were overheard talking about Mel, uh, that is just off this, this street as well. And so on this street and in the alleyway, all of that stuff was recorded for, for these kind of 1920s set sequences I mean, obviously, at the time, we didn't get too much of an idea of what was going on because it was very, very closely guarded and fans could only get so close. Uh, but yes, you know, stuff involving the Doctor and Donna, stuff involving as well a character entering the Mr. Emporium toy shop whose identity was kept a secret and was talked about by Russell T. Davis in one of his Doctor Who magazine columns, I believe, after the Christmas trailer. He was sort of saying, oh, here's something that everybody's missed, this mysterious character, mysterious actor, fantastic actor playing this role. Well, now we finally know who that is. It's the actor Charlie DeMello playing a character called Charles Banerjee. Now, now, I'm not too sure who this dude is. I looked him up. I don't think he's like a real life figure like John Logie Baird, but maybe someone to do with him or some pawn of, of the toy maker that kind of manipulates John Logie Baird and has a hand in his experiments and stuff. Uh, who knows? But yeah, he was seen to be entering this shop. So, you know, what's going on there? Was he kind of entering it to go and collect Stooky Bill and, and take him back to John Logie Baird's study, which obviously we saw in the previous picture? I don't know, but it's all kind of adding up now, all these details starting to add up and to make sense and to connect with each other, so really, really exciting to see. Those are the three latest Who Spy photos. We had one of the units panel, we had one of John Logie Baird's study, and finally one of that fantastic clown sign. But what do you think about all of this? Are there any details that I've missed? Anything that you think is going to end up being really, really important in the final episodes? I'd love to hear all your thoughts on all that in the comments section below. As well as your general theories about how the 60th is shaping up in terms of the plot and everything with John Logie Baird and the toy maker and unit and just everything that's going on. You know, what are your predictions for how all of this stuff is going to play out. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more stuff like this in the future. But otherwise, until the next one, thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now.